Hello, today I would like to show you what I believe is one of the most amazing digital video camera from Sony. I'm collecting different devices from that brand and I'm focused on the cameras that have a quite interesting storage medium. And this is the three examples. We are going to take a look at that model because this is one of the best in form of the picture quality, but little bit of history. This is the Mavica. That's actually a steel camera, but I believe it have ability to record like extremely short movies. And the storage medium is interesting because it's using a regular floppy disk drive three and a half inch. You put your floppy disk drive, you can take a picture, you take the drive out, you put into your regular PC and you've got your pictures. So definitely a interesting solution. Here is a different camera. This is a digital video. It's made for recording movies and it have a quite interesting feature because it's using a disc, DVD disc, small, it writing directly into them, but it have a SD resolution and in general it product a pretty bad picture quality. This is like the latest one from Sony that is using the DVD as a storage medium, but it provides you with a full HD. Sadly, it is uh, interlaced, as you can see by the small e, but I believe it is a really extremely nice device. And we are going to take a look at some feature. We are going to power it on and we are going to see how it operates. And this is one of them, the Info Lithium M. They've got a S, they've got a, a bigger models also. And they are extremely popular. And you can buy nowadays absolutely brand new from Sony. Here you can take a look. So it was like a pretty decent and you can get a bigger capacity that just are larger. This is a absolutely great option if you would like to record for a longer time. But we've got our battery and the device is operational. Now let's take a look at the disc that is going to be used for recording. This is a DVD read-write. That's me mean we can erase the drive and rewrite many times, which is uh, absolutely amazing. It's designed to be storing a 30 minute of the video but that's depending on the bitrate and the quality and it can go much lower in that form. I believe I on my settings I've got like a 20 minute of recording but you can extend the time just by using a SD quality. So here is the disk. The reason why I put the battery first is that this device is battery operated, battery assisted, and you cannot open the battery, the, the drive without the battery. As you can see, it is a motorized. And we've got laser, we've got a motor, and we've got a drive assemble that is similar from a laptop. We can grab our disk and put it inside. 
and we manually lock it. The quite interesting thing is stated here. We've got a Dolby Digital 5.1 and it looks like it does make sense because we've got a, at least four microphone. We've got front and rear, left and right. So it is a really quite amazing that this device is capable of recording that many channels. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to, you are going to see why this is uh, completely the biggest mistake because it's picking up noise from a spinning disc, which is uh, completely crazy. I would never release a product that is recording audio with that terrible noise for, from my point of view, it's make it completely unusable. Here we've got a interface show. You can hook up a different accessory into that port, like a light or a microphone. You can get the external microphone. Quite interesting device. There is a lot of pins. I'm trying to lift it by my finger. There is a lot of pins for different applications. And looks like this conclude the top of the device. We've got the zoom. We've got a taking picture button. We've got our mode selector. We've got the opening of the disc. On side, we've got a couple interesting thing. We've got a backlight, which is a counteracting for a, when you've got a bright light in the back end. Here you can select the manual focus and it have a ring. This is not a real one. This is like a potentiometer that is being reflected by the software. It's not moving any part of the lens, but give you that very nice feel. And you can, you can basically think of yourself as a pro. The more most important Sony feature, which is a night shoot that's allow you to record in complete darkness. And by using external infrared lamp, you've got a absolutely great results. Even nowadays, it's stomping any like a fake similar type of a night vision from the AliExpress. This is a very quality product. You can definitely use it as a night vision. Here we've got all the specification. And in second, we are going to open the, the panel. Here we've got the charger, which is also a very good Sony type that is being used on a lot of cam cameras and the battery we've got our recording we've got a headphones jack for monitoring and playback we've got a connector for remote We've got a control for a flash and we've got a connector for external plug-in mic. That's mean it have a three volt bias voltage for a capacitance microphone. And this is the front. We've got the flash. We've got the car size optics. Here you can see the lens information and in general this is how it present let's open the display because it's going to reveal a quite interesting feature so here you can see that we've got a multiple output but they are hidden under that flap but you really cannot 
do anything from that location. But here you've got a switch, and if you slide it, it reveal everything what's good. We've got a full-size HDMI, we've got a component output, and the general audio video composite. We've got a USB port, because you can use it for copying the data, the movie, just by plugging into your computer. Here we've got the memory stick port, and it's being used for recording pictures. Let's just for a one second pause and think why Sony decide to use a DVD, why Sony decide to use a floppy disk drive. This was like the best shows for that time because it was cheap, the memory card was extremely expensive and also trying to get memory card that is going to be fast enough to support the HD bitrate is going to be extremely costly and I'm not sure if the memory stick was ever capable of doing that. Second thing that was aimed as a general user camcorder and if you ask yourself why the VHS cameras was a instant success, the answer is pretty straightforward, because you put a VHS tape, why for example so some old person, of person who is not interested in any video editing, they put VHS tape, they record it, they go back home, they take out the tape, they put a label that it is from a birthday, and they put it on a shelf. So looks like Sony was thinking the DVD is going to be next thing, and to some extent they've got full ride, because I believe that everyone have a full-size DVD player under their TV. And the idea is that you can finalize that disc and play it directly from the DVD player without absolutely any use of the computer. So if you've got like an old person, they can definitely use it. They can record, store, do uh, basically like removing clips from the camcorder itself and then finalize it put it into the album and they can play it on a TV, they can play it on a computer. And that was making a really lot of sense. Let's try to power it on. Let's feel like a pro. So here we've got the lovely Sony power button that you have to first press on the green and then you can switch and turn it on. We are on the camera mode and that's exactly what we want and you can clearly see that we are currently accessing the disk on actual settings that I currently have got. We've got a 15 minute, we've got the time that is going to be run on the battery, we've got the HD high quality plus 5.1 channel Let's try to record something. So here you can see, and I'm just going to press record. Recording, can you see this? So we are recording video via our camera. This is how it looks like. We can try to zoom in a little bit and as you can see it is working quite nice to show you my lab and 
it is pretty nice. So we've got our recording. We can play back it directly from the camcorder. Just like this. And here we can see our recording and can play it back and with sound. We are recording. Can you see this? Let's try our manual focus. Let's go over here and I'm going to hit the manual. And here you can see the focus. We are at the 4 meter and I'm going to rotate the ring and you will be able to see that we've got the infinity and we've got a 0 0.2 meter let me try to focus on this not in focus nicely in focus let me show you the manual focus not in focus I believe that's in focus and we are going out so as you can see it's working quite nice give you that creative control as I told you the absolutely most terrible thing is the sound of the spinning disc and you just imagine yourself how amazing the piece of technology is because you've got a spinning disc you can be driving in a bus like doing a tour and you are recording the video you've got a shaking and the disc is spinning it has a buffer that have need to withstand a small right problems and still not to corrupt your disc so definitely this is a absolutely amazing piece of tech nowadays you just put a sd card and you can store there everything and it's going to be a handy dandy i'm going to swap my main camera and we are going to try to record something with it and we are going to compare the picture quality okay so we've got a camera swap now you can see the picture quality and the audio recording straight from the camera hopefully you are going to hear the terrible noise from recording disc here you can see the picture quality I really can't tell whether you can read it or not the display have a absolutely horrible resolution and it looks like a ant going there just like a dot made from ants very very bad here you can see other camcorder this is a, a SD the standard definition and this is the picture quality that's what you can feel and see from that type of camcorder so thank you very much for watching I hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye